Hi again, I'm Nick, and in this video I'm going to be comparing the Skull Candy Crusher wireless headphones to the original Wired Crusher. After I reviewed the wireless, a lot of people were asking how they compared, and if it was worth upgrading if they already owned the original Crusher. The quick answer is yes, these headphones sound completely different. It's not like Skull Candy took the original Crushers and made them wireless. They took the idea of an adjustable bass slider and started over. Everything from build quality, style, and sound is improved with the Crusher Wireless. If you're interested in my full review, I'll put a link to that below, but let's see how these compare. Unboxing the Crusher, besides the headphones, you'll get a user guide, detachable audio cable with inline control, a AA battery that powers the bass drivers, and a travel bag. With the Crusher Wireless, you'll get your documentation, detachable audio cable with inline control, a micro USB cable to charge, and a more premium feeling travel bag. It's a little more durable and it's got a super soft inside with a couple pouches to store the cables. Taking a look at the original Crusher first, mostly everything here is matte plastic. There's no shortage of branding. You'll find skull candy and gloss on the top of the headband and chrome styled skull logos on each side with some chrome base ports at the bottom. On the inside of the ear cups, you'll find a subtle skull logo, which is a nice touch. Each ear cup is wrapped in leatherette and has nice stitching all the way around. The headband is adjustable with a plastic slider and there's a solid click to hold each position. There's rubber cushioning on the inside of the headband, which gives it a comfortable fit. You'll find the base slider and detachable cable on the left ear cup. The right ear cup is removable and behind you'll find a compartment for the AA battery that powers the bass drivers. Looking at the wireless, everything here seems improved. They're still made of mostly plastic, but they have a nicer feel. They're also more solid, where the originals have a sort of hollow feel compared. The branding is much more subtle. You'll only find a skull logo on each side of the headband. The top of the headband is wrapped in leatherette and has a similar rubber lining on the inside, but the material is improved and has a nicer feel. The ear pads are wrapped in leatherette as well with memory foam padding. The ear cups don't pivot and swivel as much as the originals do, but they still fit well. On the right ear cup, you'll find volume controls as well as a multifunction button. And on the left ear cup, you'll find the USB port to charge, an audio jack, and the adjustable bass slider. The bass slider is super smooth gliding on the wireless with very little resistance. While the slider on the original is clunky and doesn't slide smooth at all, it gives it a bit of a cheap feel. The headband is also made from stainless steel and slides firmly but very smooth. The only thing I didn't like about the build was the small squeak that you get when the ear cups swivel, but overall these feel much more premium than the originals do. They both fold up as well, making them more portable for travel. The wireless are slightly more heavy than the originals, 275 grams compared to 228 grams, but the difference isn't noticeable on your head. The originals clamp down slightly more than the wireless do, but both are very comfortable. The padding and amount of cushioning feels the same, but the wireless get a little bit warmer to me. The originals have slightly deeper ear cups as well. I have larger ears and they just barely touch the padding on the inside of the wireless but that doesn't happen on the original Crushers. Both are very comfortable and easy to wear for hours, but I'd personally give a slight edge to the originals since they fit over my ears better. Both make a nice seal over your ear though, and sound leak and noise isolation is about the same on both. Now both headphones have a similar system to provide deep bass. With the original Crushers, there's a main 40mm driver and a separate driver that's powered by an amp for haptic feedback. The wireless has a 40mm driver as well, but their extra driver is not powered by an amp. So one big difference between these is the adjustable base still works with the wireless even if the battery dies, as long as you use them with the wire. You'll get around 40 hours out of the AA battery and you can still use them if the battery dies, but you lose the adjustable base. With the wireless, you'll get 40 hours of wireless playback from the rechargeable battery and you can still use them as wired headphones if the battery dies. This alone makes them worth the upgrade in my opinion not having to mess around with the AA battery. But it's not just the rechargeable battery life or the fact that these are wireless. Everything about the sound is improved with the wireless, especially the bass. With the bass slider all the way down, the original crushers are pretty flat sounding. Bass isn't emphasized and they have a natural sound overall. Mids can be a little underwhelming and vocals are pushed forward. The highs fare better though. Highs are crisp and clear without distorting. Bringing up the slider gives the low end a nice boost. At around 50 to 60%, bass hits hard and it isn't overpowering, and you get a good amount of vibration here without being too boomy. With the wireless, even when the slider is turned all the way down, 
Bass is more prominent here than on the original. I think most people could listen with the slider all the way down and be totally satisfied with the amount of bass. Bringing up the slider to about 30% gives you the feeling of a subwoofer, really bringing out the deeper bass. Bass is tight and responsive at this level, not overpowering everything else. Turning the slider up more, at around 50%, gives you more bass than the originals are capable of, and can reach ridiculous bass levels if you turn them up full blast. If you like pounding bass, the wireless sound deeper, hit harder, and literally shakes harder than the originals do. It's not just the bass that sounds better though, everything sounds better in my opinion. Mids have more clarity, vocals have more nuance and presence, female vocals sound noticeably richer, highs are brighter and have more detail. By comparison, the original Crusher lacked that extra pop that you get with the wireless. The wireless have more warmth and have an airier feeling, with a wider soundstage. The mic on both sound really good when used for voice calls, Call quality on the original is really good for a headset, and only slightly sounds like you're in the distance. The wireless sound about the same using it as a wired headset, and they sound great when using them over Bluetooth. So there you have it. Even though the Crusher wireless retail for double the price, they're easy to recommend with the premium build, fantastic sound quality, and adjustable bass. Skullcandy improved upon the original in almost every way. If you do have the originals, the improved sound, better bass, and Bluetooth functionality make them worth the upgrade. Please hit the like button if you liked the video, drop a comment below, and subscribe if you like to see more videos. Thanks for watching!